Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. So welcome back to my setting spray wars, today's episode three, and if you're watching this in the future, I will link all the videos down below for you. I'll be testing out eight drugstore setting sprays for your oily skin, and for each of these, I will be testing them with liquid foundation and powder foundation. Let's get into setting spray number three, and that's gonna be the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. This claims to be a lightweight, clear setting spray infused with essential vitamins to set makeup, control shine, and hydrate your skin. I tested the setting spray out for two days and day one is my first impression with liquid foundation, so let's roll the tape. As you guys can see, I already have on all of my makeup except for my eye makeup. I don't like to use setting spray while I have mascara on just because of my hooded eyes. I don't want anything to transfer, so let's go ahead and get this on. Let's first do a smell test. I don't smell anything. Let's go and spray my face. <laughs> that was a lot. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and press the setting spray into my face. Okay, this is the weirdest thing, but now that the liquid has actually touched my face, I don't like the way the liquid smells. Like it doesn't smell like anything in the bottle. It doesn't smell like anything as I sprayed it out into the air, but now that it's on my face, it smells weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and just take a look at my face now. All right, I'm liking the way that my makeup is looking so far. My makeup definitely looks matte. I don't see any white dots anywhere. I don't see any foundation being lifted. I did bake today, so I definitely see the powder being emulsified because of the setting spray. So far, it's looking pretty good. Let's do a close up so you guys can see. Here's my forehead, looking really good and matte. The left side of my face also looking really good and matte. And the right side of my face also looking really good and matte. All right, so far so good, but of course the real test is to see how this wears at the end of the day. So I'll be right back to let you guys know. So it's been about 10 hours since I've been wearing my makeup. So let's go and take a look at my face. Just an FYI, I have been outside and it got up to about 100 degrees and we are still going through a heat wave here in Texas. So let's just keep that in mind when looking at my face. So I do see just a little bit of shine coming through on my nose and just kind of in my forehead. I do see some creasing going on in between my eyebrows. I do see some caking going on kind of in my smile lines. But other than that, I think I'm looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and do a close up so you guys can see. Here's what my forehead is looking like. It's looking really, really good. In between my eyebrows, also looking pretty good. And the left side of my face, you can see some oil coming through on my nose. Just a bit of caking in my smile lines. And the right side of my face, same thing. Oil coming through on my nose. Just a bit of caking in my smile lines. Other than those problem areas, I really do think that my makeup has held up really well during this humidity and this heat wave. So I cannot wait to see what my makeup is gonna look like tomorrow when I wear just powder foundation. So I'll be right back to let you guys know. Today's day two and I just finished putting on my powder foundation. So let's go ahead and put this to the test to see if it can emulsify all this powder. That spray is intense. Now I'm just going to press this setting spray into my makeup. Again, I smelled that weird scent. I even had my husband smell my face and he said that it didn't smell too pleasant. So it's really weird. I don't know why. But anyway, let's take a look at my face. All right, so far my makeup is looking really, really good. I definitely think that this setting spray emulsified all of the powder that I used today. I think it looks really good. Nothing has been lifted. I don't see any spots or anything like that. So yeah, let's do a close up so you guys can see. Here's my forehead, looking pretty good. The left side of my face also looking really good. And the right side also looking really good. So far my makeup is looking really good, but of course the real test is to see how it looks at the end of the day. So I'll be right back to let you guys know. Today is day two and I've been wearing my makeup for about 10 hours. So let's go and take a look at my face. Just so you guys know, I have been outside today and it got up to about 100 degrees and it's 
insanely humid here in Texas. So let's keep that in mind when looking at my makeup. So I do see some oils pretty much throughout my entire face, but considering what my makeup has gone through, I think that my makeup looks really good. I think that the setting spray did a really good job kind of keeping my makeup as matte as possible. The only place I see really bad oils is just on my nose, but everything else looks pretty nice. I do have some creases in between my eyebrows on the left side of my face where my smile lines are. I think my makeup is gone on my upper lip, to be honest. I think it's gone. I don't think I have it anymore. <laughs> um, and then I do have some creasing in between my lip and my chin. So let's do a close up so you guys can analyze this whole thing. So here's my forehead looking just a bit oily in between my eyebrows. And the left side of my face, you can definitely see the oils on my nose, just a bit here on my cheek area. And then you can see the creases. And the right side of my face, oils on my nose, just a bit of oils right here on the cheek area. The creasing on this side isn't that bad at all. All right, and you can definitely see that the makeup on my top lip is pretty much gone. And then just a bit of creasing in between my lip and my chin. Considering everything that my makeup has gone through today, my setting spray has really done a good job just kind of holding my makeup together. Okay, so I had to read some reviews on this setting spray because I just knew I couldn't be the only one who smelled that really bad smell in the beginning. And it turns out I'm not. I'm not the only person who has a problem with this scent. Now, I feel like it smells like mildew. And my husband went ahead and smelt my face as well. But he doesn't know what it smells like. He doesn't say it smells like mildew. But he did say it smells pretty bad. So luckily, the smell doesn't linger. But you definitely smell it whenever you initially spray your face. And then, of course, whenever you get your beauty blender and just kind of press the liquid onto your face, your beauty blender will also smell like whatever that scent is. So make sure you wash it right after you use it. So besides that smell, I actually do think that this setting spray did a really good job keeping my makeup as shine free as possible considering the type of weather that we're having here in Texas right now. I really do think that it does a good job. I mean, it looked great with my liquid foundation. It emulsified my powder foundation and it just looked really, really good all day. Even though this is a matte setting spray, my makeup or my face never felt drying at all. The one thing that I will say about the spray itself is that it's pretty intense. So it comes off very, very strong. Um, it's definitely not a mist like it says on the packaging. It's just a like, I'm going to throw liquid at your face type of spray. But I'm learning that's how a lot of these drugstore setting sprays are. So I'm kind of like, well, should that even be a factor when it comes to my favorite drugstore setting spray? Because so far they are all really, really bad. Now I know that I can get past the harsh spray, but I just don't know if I can get past that initial mildew scent. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys are able to get past that initial scent that this gives off, knowing that it will not linger and it's gonna perfect your makeup. Will you guys be able to get past it and still use this? Let me know. And if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday at noon central time, so keep an eye out for that. And thank you guys so much. Bye.